Welcome back sa second part ng ating video tutorial on how to solve right triangles. At dahil natapos mo na yung part 1, ready ka na mag-solve ng right triangles. Tandaan, a triangle is solved when all the three sides and all the three angles are known. Ganoon lang kasimple yung gusto niya. Basta alam mo yung three sides at yung measures ng tatlong angles ng isang right triangle, solve na yung triangle na yun. Another, in solving a right triangle, at least, hindi bababa. So, dalawang parts ang given. At lahat ng problems under solving a right triangle ay pwedeng i-classify into two categories. Una, yung case 1. Given dapat yung two sides. Case 2, given one acute angle and one side. Lahat ng problems na ma-encounter natin ay magpo-fall either on the case 1 or on the case number 2. Let's begin with the first case. At ang unang example natin na ito, ayan, meron siyang two given sides ng haba ay 5 units and 10 units. Siyempre, may bonus tayo doon, di ba? Yung 90 degree angle lagi. In other words, ang nawawala lang dito ay yung dalawang acute angles, P and Q, saka yung side na to na side P, small letter P. Sir, alin po sa tatlong yun ang unahin namin? Ang sagot ay kahit sino pwede yung unahin. Pero I suggest, unahin nyo yung mas marami. Unahin natin yung mga angles. Between P and Q, alphabetical na lang, unahin natin yung angle P. So, let's solve for P first. Kung napanood yung first part ng video, ito magiging reference angle natin. Madali, madali na lang to, di ba? Papangalanganan natin kung ano ba yung tawag sa side na to, saka yung side na ito. Answer, ito ang, ang reference angle, ito yung magiging opposite. Yung katabi niya ay adjacent. Ito naman ay ang hypotenuse. Kaya ang gagamitin natin sa Sokatoa ay yung may adjacent at hypotenuse. In short, that is cosine. So, ang ating equation na magsisimula sa cosine P equals adjacent over hypotenuse. 5 over 10. And then, gamit ang inyong calculator, press shift. Tapos, cosine. Dapat may lalabas doon na cosine raised to negative 1. Tapos, open parenthesis. You key in 5 over 10 or 5 divided by 10 na lang. And then, close. You must get 60 degrees. And that's it. Ganun lang kadali. Next, for Q. This time, ang reference angle natin ay itong Q. Kaya, with respect to this angle, yung 5 na given ang magiging opposite. Tapos yung 10 pa rin ang hypotenuse. Kaya gagamitin natin ay sa Sokotowa, ang gagamitin natin ay yung may opposite and hypotenuse. And that is obviously sine. At ang ating equation na magkisimula sa sine P or sine Q rather, sine Q equals opposite. That's 5 over hypotenuse 10. 5 over 10. On your calculator, key in shift Sign. Basta angle lang nawawala, laging pinipindot yung shift dyan. So, shift sign, that is sign raised to negative 1, open parenthesis, 5 divided by 10, and you must get 30 degrees. That's it. Pag in mo yung 60 sa 30 degrees, that's equal to 90 degrees. Tapos, meron kang given 90 degrees doon. Pag pinagsaming tatlong yan, 180 degrees. So, tama. Doon sa... Uh, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Meron pang isang nawawala, yung side P. Dahil isang side na lang nawawala, gagamit na tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. Leg ang nawawala, ba? Kaya itong leg na to, yung side P ay equal sa square root ng 10 squared minus 5 squared. Again, yung leg P is equal to the square root of 10 squared minus 5 squared. And P must be 8.66. Rounded to the nearest hundreds. Actually, kahit mentally, di ba kayang-kayang isolve yan? This is uh, 100 minus 25. Square root of 75 gives us 5 the square root of 3. Which is more exact because we are uh, giving our answer in radical form. But since we are allowed to use calculator, Gamitin na natin. Kaya decimal form yung mga sagot natin. An example, given two sides pa rin tayo, ang nawawala ay angle U, angle T, sa side V. Unahin natin yung angle T. With respect to this angle, 
yun ang opposite, ito naman ang adjacent. Kaya ang equation natin ay magkisimula sa tangent t equals opposite. That's 2 the square root of 5 over adjacent, the square root of 7. On your calculator, key in uh, shift tangent to the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 7, you must get 59.39. This is rounded to the nearest hundreds. Dahil degree, minute, second ang kailangan natin, you press DMS. Tulad ng ginagawa natin sa first part ng video, you must get 59 degrees and 23 minutes. This is rounded to the nearest minute. Next is solve for angle U. Angle U magiging reference angle natin. Kaya yun ang opposite. Ito naman ang adjacent. Our equation starts with tangent U equals the square root of 7 over 2 the square root of 5. Press on your calculator, shift, tangent, the square root of 7 divided by 2 the square root of 5. Close equals 30.61. Rounded na rin yan to the nearest hundreds. Final answer, you must be 30 degrees and 37 minutes. Kailangan yung sum nitong dalawa, 90. O kaya itong dalawa. Di ba? 59 plus 30, that is 89 degrees. Tapos 23 plus 37, that is 60 minutes. 60 minutes is equal to 1 degree. Kaya yung 59 degrees kanina, or 89 degrees rather, dagdagan mo ng 1 degree, 90 degrees. So, tama pareho. Next, ang nawawala na lang yung, eh, yung side V, hypotenuse. Alam naman natin, ang hypotenuse ay equal sa the square root of the sum of the legs. Kaya, ang magiging equation natin ay for V, side V, yung hypotenuse equal sa square root ng the quantity to the square root of 5 squared plus the quantity to the square root of 7 squared. Kailangan may quantity ka dun, ha, sa calculator. Be careful. And final answer, V must be 5.20. Next is case 2. Given one acute angle and one side. Ayan, meron tayong acute angle na 40 degree. sa so, isang side na 6 units ang haba. And syempre, yung bonus dun na 90 degree angle. In short, ang nawawala dito ay dalawang sides at isang acute angle. Again, unahin yung mas marami. Between side B and side C, unahin natin yung side B. So, let's solve for side B. Again, tulad ng ginagawa natin sa first part ng ating video tutorial, unahin natin pangalanganan yung unknown side and given side with respect to the given acute angle. Okay, with respect to this angle, yun ang opposite, yung side B na nawawala, and yung given ay adjacent. Sa so, SOKATOWA, gagamitin natin ay yung may opposite and adjacent, which is TOWA. And our equation will begin with tangent 40 degrees equals opposite, that is side B, over adjacent 6. Tapos, gamit ang alternation property or cross multiplication property, rather, magiging 6 tangent 40 yan. Pagdidigitin mo lang, equals B. On your calculator, diretso lang yan, 6 tangent 40 equals, you must get 5.03, rounded to the nearest hundreds. Next is solve for side C. Ang side C naman ang nawawala. Kaya, yun, with respect to this angle, repeat the process. Ito ang adjacent, tapos ang nawawala ang hypotenuse. So, so katawa, ang may adjacent at hypotenuse ay yung ka. Kaya gagamit tayo ng mag-start ang equation natin sa cosine 40 degrees. Equals adjacent 6 over hypotenuse C. Tapos alternation property, magpapalito ng pwesto. Magiging C equals 6 over cosine 40. Diretso lang sa calc 6 divided by cosine 40, you must get 7.83. Actually, pwede ka nang gumamit dito ng Pythagorean theorem. It's up to you. It's your call kung saan ka mas mabilis. Okay? Next is the remaining acute angle. Let's solve for angle A. For angle A, pwede ka nang pumili ng kahit na anong uh, way. I mean, pwede kang gumamit ng trigonometry o kaya naman yung <clears throat> fact na in a right triangle, the two acute angles are complementary. Diba? Yung angle A, 
sa yung angle B, pag pinag-add mo, dapat 90 degrees. Tapos, manipulate natin yan. We are looking for angle A. May iwan si angle A dito, di ba? We subtract, we subtract B on both sides. Magiging angle A equals 90 degrees minus angle B. Pwede ka na dumiretso dito. Ito na yung sulat mo. Tapos, substitution, yung angle B ay given 40 degrees. That should be angle A equals 90 minus 40 degrees. Final answer, 50 degrees. And that's it. Last example. Ganun pa rin. Ang nawawala ay side X, saka yung side Y, and the acute angle X. Unahin natin yung side X. For X, ganun pa rin. With respect to this angle, ang nawawala ay adjacent, tapos ito naman ay correct, hypotenuse. Kaya gagamitin natin ay yung ka. We will begin our equation with cosine 64 degrees and 12 minutes. Equals ka adjacent over hypotenuse, that is side x over 15. Cross multiply, magiging 15 cosine 64 degrees 12 minutes. Equals x. Sa calculator, diretso lang to. You press, you key in 15 cosine 64. Careful, dapat 64 muna, tapos pindito yung, yung button na DMS, para lalitaw yan. And then 12, press DMS again. Makikita niyo sa calculator uh, degree yung symbol niya pero binabasa niya yan na minute na for some calculators. And then you must get 6.53, rounded to the nearest hundreds. Next is solve for, ano pang side yan? Side Y. Let's solve for side Y. With respect to this angle, ang nawawalang side ay opposite. Tapos ito naman ay ganun pa rin, hypotenuse pa rin siya. Kaya yun ay so. Will you saw? This is sine 64 degrees, 12 minutes, equals side y over 15. Cross multiply, magiging 15 sine 64 degrees, 12 minutes, equals y. And then on your calculator, you key in 15 sine 64 dms, 12 dms. You must get 13.50, rounded to the nearest hundreds. And then, ang nawawala na lang ay yung angle x. Gamitin na lang natin yung angle X is equal to 90 degrees minus angle Y. Substitute, yun ay 64 degrees, 12 minutes. Sa calicue nyo, 90 degrees, 90 DMS minus 64 DMS, 12 DMS equals, you must get 25 degrees, 48 minutes. And that's end our tutorial. Goodbye and thank you.